Welcome back to my channel, guys, Next in Food. I am your diva chef, Simone Walker Barrett. Welcome to all our new subscribers and enough love and respect to all our older subscribers. Thank you so much, guys, for making this channel relevant. Today's tutorial is all about the beautiful plantain. Are you a plantain lover? I am. So I am going to show you how versatile it is. So this tutorial is all about plantain muffin. So for our plantain muffin, we are going to need ripe plantain mash. Ripe plantain behave just like ripe bananas, guys. So it's not that difficult. So in this container, we're using some butter. I love the flavor that butter brings to this muffin. And then to the butter, I am adding some sugar. Then we are going to take it over to the mixer and let everything mix up along with the plantain. I'll leave the recipe in the description below so you can follow along. So guys, let us make some ripe plantain muffins. considered the liquid part of our muffin you see how creamy looking that is so i'm just going to give it a scrape down and next step we are going to combine our dry ingredient and add it to our wet ingredients so now guys we are off to step two step two is where we combine the dry ingredient so in an empty bowl you want to add your flour and we're using one cup of roll oats. You also want to add some levna. We're using baking soda and baking powder. You just want to sieve that. You want to make sure to sieve the baking soda and powder because sometimes it tends to lump. And then you want to add some salt. So this is all of our dry ingredients and then you just want to use a spoon and combine the dry ingredients now the oats gives it a nice texture that i like if you don't want to use the oats guys you can just replace it with another cup of flour so now that our dry ingredients is sieved and ready we are going to add that to the wet ingredient let's recap what the wet ingredients are butter eggs sugar sour cream it was also the mashed plantain guys that's what the wet ingredient was so to that we're going to add our flour in two parts so you want to add the flour and cut and fold that in we're adding some spice. This is half teaspoon of cinnamon powder and one teaspoon of nutmeg. I just want to sift this and we are going to fold everything in. And just like that, our plantain muffin is ready. How simple is that, guys? So next time you see a ripe plantain, you have it on your counter, getting black. Do not throw it out. Peel it, mash it, and make yourself some ripe plantain muffins. Remember, ripe plantain is 
very similar to a banana. It's just as sweet and delicious. So guys, now that our muffin batter is ready, this is what it looks like, nice and thick. We are now, we're now going to put our muffins in our muffin pans. I'm using a jumbo muffin pans. There, there are three sizes. There's what we call the mini and the regular, and this one is the jumbo. So what I use to line my muffin pan is just squares of brown paper or grease paper. So you wanna cut them in squares and you wanna put a little bit of water in the bottom of the muffin cup so that the paper will just stay put. It's as simple as that. Then you wanna use your portion scoop and portion your batter. So for this, I'm using two scoops of batter. This is a two ounce scoop. So just let your senses guide you on to how much to put in. Because remember, this is going to rise. And so you don't wanna fill it up too much, but you want to fill them as even as possible. You could also use this batter to make a loaf or some people may say a bread so you could make a white plantain bread and that's exactly what i'll be doing also because i have enough batter to give me a small bread so basically the difference between the two you put it in a muffin pan we refer to it as muffin you put it in a loaf pan or a bread looking pan you refer to it as bread so i'm adding some nuts to some of the muffins. These are slivered almonds. If you don't like nuts, feel free to leave it out. Or if you, whatever nuts you like, that's absolutely fine. You can just add it. So this is going to be put into a 350 degree oven. And we're gonna bake this for about 20 to 30 minutes. Let's see what happened, guys. I'm pleased to introduce to you ripe plantain muffins. This is what it looks like. I'm just gonna grab one and break into it. Look at this deliciousness, guys. Look at the texture. You can see pieces of the oats, pieces of the ripe plantain. Try this recipe, guys. This is easy to make. This is good for a snack. It's great for breakfast. It's great for any time and it's easy to make. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to subscribe, like, and share. Leave a comment down below. I'd love, love to hear from you. I am your diva chef, Simone Walker Barrett. You take care.